broke on my chandelier. I waited for the janitor since yesterday. I'll try to get it fixed for you right away. Where's your husband? I've got a complaint. The door in my bedroom needs new paint. You want so much attention, it's really a crime. Well, tell him to come up and sing it sometime. How many times must you be told? I gotta take a bath if the water's cold. Go get your husband. Or else you'll see, there's gonna be trouble. You telling me? Posing like a millionaire, make believe in you don't care. How you expect to get somewhere? Taking your time. What you do, you sure do late. And you always make me wait. All you do is aggravate, taking your time. Maybe you think you're fine and dandy, but you better not wood. Just cause you're so handy, that don't mean you're good. Better change your lazy views, or you're gonna wake up with the blues. When you find someone else in your shoes, taking your time. Posing like a millionaire, maybe you think you don't care. How you expect to get somewhere, taking your time. What you do, you always do late. All you do is aggravate. Seems like you just like to make me wait. Keep taking your time. Or oh, maybe you think cause you're fine and dandy. Well, you better not would. Just cause you so handy, that don't prove you good. Better change them lazy views, or you're gonna wake up with the blues. When you find a new one in your shoes, take it all time. Samson, get up, or you're gonna be late for your afternoon nap. If that's a sample for marriage life, I sure was glad I was just engaged. You couldn't get him up with an earthquake. Oh, no? Well, just watch me. <whistles> Let me try. Have that pin. I've lost it. the neck up. This will get it. Not Jim says. Did I hear y'all say something about lunch? You sure did, but just make believe I was fooling because you ain't gonna get none no how. Well, I ain't did nothing. That's just it. But I was just arrested. Resting. That's all you and your relatives do, rest. It's one you don't get tired of resting all the time. There you go, picking on my relatives again. Look here, man. If you think I'm going to feed you and your relation, too, you got another thing coming. Look at them. There's that lazy niece of yours. And your Uncle Uranus. Oh, Uncle Uranus, just how do you pass the time? I don't, Ethel. I just sit here and let the time pass me. Gaze on them. And your grandpa, Moe. Your two cousins, Columbia and Pansy. Them two sleeping beauties must think this year is a hotel. A whole lot of them, just a bunch of good-for-nothing loafers living off of the fat heads of the land. Only we happen to be the fat heads. Now, that's a lay off of that. It seemed to me we was talking about lunch. How about it? I'll stop. You is? Well, just continue on gazing in that looking glass and watch yourself starve to death. Who's that? Who's that? Me. I'm Joe. Oh, that's my good old cousin Joe. Ain't you got nothing but relations? Ain't you got no friends? Surprise. 
Can I come in? You is in. How are you, Joe? Where's your baggage? Well, I ain't brought much baggage. I figure you got everything I need here. But I scared I might get a little lonely. So I brought my three brothers along. Come along, little doggers. Come along. Well, 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 <laughs> well, 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 well,
dear nieces and nephews, I has made millions coming up to visit you and want you all to help me spend some of my dough. It's me, Swami Rivers, the mind reader. Well, what's on your mind, Swami? I have been commuting with the spirit, Miss Peabody, and from certain rumors and designations, I've got some mighty fine news for you. Oh, sounds like it's gonna cost me something. Oh, now, Miss Peabody, you know I don't care nothing about money. I was ethereal, immaterial, and inconsequential. But uh, if you insist, I'll take two bits. I knew there was a catch in it. All right. Now come on upstairs with me, because the spirits don't never come down to the basement. Now how do you want this good news sprung on you? By the reading of your palm? Or the bump on your head? Or does you just want to be psycho-annihilated? Let your conscience be your guide. Just tell me. Concentrate. I see something distant. Don't tell me it's another relation. It's getting close. Now I know it's another relation. Now it's getting closer and closer. And it's a rich one. Who is it? Who is it? Shut your eyes and concentrate. Has you got an uncle named Frisbee? Frisbee? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Samson's Uncle Frizz. What about him? Well, he's a millionaire, and he doesn't signify to me that he's arriving tonight. He's coming to spend... Spend what? Well, he's going to spend some time with you. Oh, I thought so. What's that? What is it? I, can't. I don't know, Miss Peabody. You don't know. Let me, my spirits. Honey, we is rich. I just got this phone to five months of prison, and he's due to arrive here tonight. Swami, you sure is some mind reader. I sure is. Come on, baby, get busy. We got to give that millionaire uncle a great reception if he wants any part of his dough. Come on, let's go. Swami, you is a man. Oh. Got a shiny They think that I'm Emperor Jones. Ah, but I fooled them. 
You know who I am? Right. I am the Emperor Jones. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't get this. Don't pack me now. You pack me later. Well, folks, I've had a hard day at the office, and I was ready to eat. Won't you join me? Come on, folks. Yes, sir. Oh, you ready? I'm right with you. Oh, they have Say, I've been in here two days and haven't seen a waiter yet. If I don't hurry up and get some service, I'll call the manager. Say, that Uncle Frisbee yours is either nuts or he's just testing us before he gives us some of that money. You go on and play up to him. I'll get it. Well, what can I do for you, Uncle Frisbee? Don't get so familiar, young man. I will have you fired. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Now get this order straight. I want four turtle legs while nine minutes on one side and three on the tutter. We all chipped in and bought you a nice fat chicken to surprise you. I'll bring it in right now. Listen, Bill. What's the matter? There's something awful funny going on around here. A minute ago, I had my watch, and now it's gone. What you looking at me for? Hold on. Wait a minute, Jim. Somebody took mine, too. Yours, too? Is there that? I sure hope you like this chicken, Uncle Fred. It costs two bucks. I'll take the leg. I'll take any part I can get. It's gone. What are we going to do? Why, it's gone. Hey, somebody's got my suspenders. Everything is going around here. What are we going to do about it? We'll call Swami. He'll tell us where that chicken went. Let's call Swami. Hey, 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 I'm just wondering whether... This is going to be easy. You all just let me look in my crystal ball, and I'll tell you who stole it. Good Lord Almighty, I done lost the crystal ball. No! Yeah! Can you imagine that? <laughs> but, but surely you that knows all and sees all don't know where the crystal ball is? Well, how am I going to tell you where the crystal ball is if I ain't got no ball to tell me where it is? Huh? Wait a minute. I got it. Sharp, Amy. Somebody turn out the light. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock. Better take your tins and put them all in the pot. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock. Bow down, bow down. Hallelujah. Bow down, bow down, bow down. I'm calling him to come and help his flock. I can see St. Peter standing by the rock. Bow down, bow down, hallelujah. 